Independence Day and today we've decided to head over to a different city in Podnizdrovje. So we're going to a city called Binder, which is the second largest city um, in this country. We don't know an awful lot about it apart from that it's got a fortress and we thought we'd go and check it out. We just got off the bus and crossed the road and the first thing we see is this big monument. So at the top it's got the hammer and sickle and the country's kind of emblem. And around the sides it's got loads of different dates of different, basically Russian wars, aren't they? Yeah. But I mean they date from 2008 all the way back to 1408. So I think it's, uh, it's all the struggles of the peoples here. Yeah. And then we're just going to go slightly further along and go and look at that interesting one, which looks religious actually, because it's got the cross on the top. So this one's interesting. It's got this shape there. It's got a bell and it's got the, um, the Eastern Orthodox uh, cross at the top. And it looks like the speakers around the outside as well. Okay, so this is actually the Memorial of Memory and Grief and it's in dedication to the people who died in 1992 in the War for Independence here. Yeah, but specifically as well to Daniel A.I. Lebed who stopped the bloodshed in British Columbia. Yeah. surprised by here is these traffic lights. They're LED traffic lights on super skinny flat screens. You wouldn't have thought in a place like this that thing is kind of a priority but they've got loads of like super modern traffic lights here. Don't know why when they're still running trolley buses from the 80s but their traffic lights are on point. And this is Binder Museum of we don't know. Binder Open, Binder, Binder Open Air Museum. 1789. This cool building is the cinema. Imagine coming here for the Odeon. the main Benderi bus station. But, um, inside we know there's a Soviet style cafe so we're gonna go and have a look in there and also check out the bus station. <laughs> okay. And a furniture shop by the look of it. Got everything. Okay here we go here's the bus station. Wow. Yeah, so half of it's a furniture shop now. There's a big um, mosaic up there. We'll go have a look in a moment. And then this is an old Soviet map of where the buses used to go. Odessa, which is now in Ukraine. Yeah, this is the next station where we're staying, Tiraspol. Oh, this is where we are here, Benderi. <laughs> Might be Soviet, but it's got Soviet Wi-Fi. Wow. It does smell good. Yeah, let's go. So we've managed to get ourselves some food, some vegan food. I'll show you what we've got in a second. We were sitting right next to Lenin. And this place feels much more like a Soviet cafe than the one we went to in um, Chisinau, which was, it was more of like a 50s themed cafe. Yeah, a nostalgic cafe where this is proper CCCP themed. Okay, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we've got to eat. Okay, so. Danny and I both have a borscht, which is a beetroot soup, and we asked for it without cream. Got some bread. I've got some uh, polenta. 
I've got a carrot salad. And then Danny has some cashew, which is um, buckwheat groats. And also we've got a mixed salad as well. There we go. Smachnego. Okay, so we're gonna make our way towards the fortress now. We'll go check that out. I'm just realizing quite how far the fortress is to walk from the center of town on terrible pavements. So I'm getting quite tired now. I think most people probably hop on a trolley bus, but we didn't think. I think we might have gone completely the wrong way. I think. The map is showing us like another road that's next to this castle, but we have come across this incredible building. There's a worker man and he's carrying the star with the CCCP. He's carrying some lorries up there. It's in great condition, isn't it? And if you come around here, and the mosaic on the side, Yeah, I reckon it might be. And then you've got all the different types of workers. They're mostly, though, workers, I think, in some kind of, like, cars, well, yeah, machinery. So like the counter, so it... Yeah, I guess this might be, like, the car industry, then. Yeah. Look, see, he's fixing a car. He's doing some kind of s stuff with sparks and metal, and he's welding something. He's got a welder's mask on. Wowie. So in the end, we came down the way that has very clear English that says, do not enter. This is only staff entrance, visitors prohibited. But these two young men were walking past and we asked them which way to go. And they're like, just come this way. But like, it says entry is not allowed. And they were like, oh, it doesn't matter. Just come with us, it's fine. And so we've walked past this car factory and we've walked through the backgrounds and there's no staff or anyone stopping us. And so they have brought us to the front now, but we've definitely come the long way round. We've definitely come the way we're not allowed to come, but these guys are so not bothered and they're like, just come with us, it's fine, don't worry about the signs. So we didn't. And now we're at the entrance with the casa. So. <laughs> So all's well that ends well, even if we did come the uh, slightly illegal route. So we did get to see that cool building. Yeah, this definitely looks more like a visitor's entrance, doesn't it, Dan? Oh, спасибо вам. Дачки. Хорошо дня. Давай, давай. Спасибо. До свидания. way and now that we've come out the official way we can see exactly where we went before instead of being here and turning behind us we went all the way around because we didn't think to come here about 20 meters away from where we already were however 
can't be too annoyed because we did find that cool building. We did have those guys help us out. We have now left Trinostrovia or Transnistria, the country that doesn't technically exist. And it's been quite an experience. It's been a, it's our first disputed territory. Mm -hmm. And we went for the very specific reason of the Independence Day. And it was a great experience, really, really cool. And they are fiercely proud, aren't they? Yeah. We met a young woman who can't have been older than maybe 20 and she was super excited about the whole thing. She was very excited to tell us what was on. Certainly somewhere I wouldn't have thought of going to um, not very long ago. It's, yeah, it's not on your um, on your average you know, trip, is it? Bucket list. Yeah, no. a week in the way. Yeah, but it was, it was an experience. Yeah. Um, and I think we picked definitely a good weekend for it as well. Yeah, I agree. Cool.